I don't want this video to be too long because I want to work on another video that I actually want to do. This original zero ain't nothing new. Just another power scaler. Just another power scaler who understands nothing about one punch, man. Just the same old person. You know those people that just simply argue to get their point across, but they, but they don't actually listen to understand. They just simply want to argue to get their point across. Yeah, he's one of these people. You do realize statements are literally just a less proven version of a feat, right? <coughs> and you're using statements, so you technically are using feats, which are required to actually determine the winner. And I jokingly said, be careful, power scholars don't see statements as feats. Because they actually don't. I thought he referred to you for using statements as factual info and not feats, but never mind. Okay, so I won't power scale this one, but you say Saitama's main power is that he can basically one punch anything, right? When I say that, people don't understand what that literally means to its core. They, they truly don't. So scaling aside in mind, put him against Magnamon from Digimon. It amazes me how the Digimon community try to bring up Digimon in, in, in the versus community when the thing is nobody gives a fuck about Digimon. But the Digimon community, nobody gives a fuck about scaling Digimon characters. They're fucking irrelevant. They're not cool enough. They're not cool enough. The fuck about here. That's why they're overlooked. Digimon aren't fucking cool enough. Cope. Yeah, shots fired. So scaling a sign in mind, put him against Magnamon from Digimon, whose ability is to win any fight, no matter what, due to fate and miracles as his main power with the Digimental of Miracles. What people don't understand is you got to look at how these characters do battle as well. Magnamon still be going through the fucking struggle during, during his battles. That off rip should tell you whose power is superior. That off rip should tell you whose shit's fucking superior. But he doesn't look all, he, he, he doesn't analyze every, based on the way this motherfucker's talking, he's not analyzing all of this shit. He's just bringing up an argument and thinking he's cooking something up when he ain't cooking shit. Matter, due to fate and miracles as his main power with the Digimental of Miracles. Using this, he be an extremely powerful threat that was going to eat the world itself because he is quite literally fated to always win. With your main argument being that Saitama can win any fight, that's not my main argument. I present a lot of fucking info. This is how I know this, this dude is new to, to my channel. I got all these videos, but they don't look at any of these shits. They just see a little bit of one, and then they go right into argument mode. This is why I block people like this from left to right. I have zero tolerance for people like this. With your main argument being that Saitama can win any fight, how does he do against someone who has the same ability but better bitch how the fuck is this how the fuck is his his ability better when he be going through the fucking struggle oh wow he has fate on his side so he always win his battles that fate don't dismiss the fact that this motherfucker be struggling his ass off in his battles you don't get that from Saitama the creator was Dead serious by creating a character who literally has no limit to his power. He was dead ass serious by having Saitama being able to literally punch the problem away and up to date, even against an opponent who's able to copy his stats, Cosmic Garo. The man 
was confirmed to still be holding back a great deal. So what the fuck? Dude. And you think his ability is superior to Saitama? Ain't nothing superior about that. Hell, Saitama hasn't even actually utilized his actual one-punch ability yet because he's waiting for a powerful opponent, which if y'all watch my previous videos, I show the scan of this information. Everything I'm bringing up has a scan. It isn't me just making up shit. It has a scan. Let's continue. Magna Ma still goes through the struggle as he battles. Dude, his ability ain't superior to Saitama. Saitama effortlessly, effortlessly wipes a flow at him. Yeah, but how do you come to the conclusion that Saitama is better? And apparently, you don't know what it actually means to be able to defeat any opponent, however strong. You generally don't comprehend how ridiculous, how ridiculously unfair that is. Combine that with the fact that it literally doesn't matter. <coughs> Oh, yeah, I got confused. Combine that with the fact that it literally doesn't matter what the problem is. Saitama is literally designed to punch the problem away no matter what it is. Magnamon coming in with his bullshit fate manipulation and all that shit isn't going to fucking matter to Saitama. He's going to get his shit rocked. Fate is going to try to kick in. That shit's going to get his shit rocked, too. Literally. they, they bro, I've watched tons of works of fiction. So, the fact that I literally came across a work of fiction that actually sticks to its overpowered guns, bro, I am defending this until the end of time. I'm defending this to the end of time. So, Thomas is just going to punch that shit away. You got up in your mind that Magnumine... Magnumon fate bullshit is gonna kick in. It, it's not gonna kick in. Fate? That's still a form of following the rules. Sure, it breaks the rules to where you always win, but Saitama literally doesn't follow the rules. And I'm not talking about some, oh, when, when, when people sit here and say, well, lots of characters don't follow the rules, they, they can still be skilled. No, 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 no. You don't understand. Saitama does not follow the rules. He's a parody of the shonen genre, and on top of that, he's a freaking gag. You put a normal character against a gag slash parody character. Gag characters like this... Don't follow the rules, especially when they're busted like this. They don't follow the rules. Saitama is literally designed to punch the problem away no matter what it is. It's like you're not understanding what that actually means. He, he, it, it's something in his brain. It ain't clicking. It just ain't clicking. Saitama is literally made with no limit to his power. Saitama is a parody of the shonen genre. The creator made it to where Saitama can literally punch a problem away no matter what it is. The creator made Saitama power literally invincible to where it cannot be overcome. Saitama is the embodiment of unfairness. Saitama power literally makes power scaling completely useless. The moment you think anything can defeat Saitama because of XYZ, you're completely missing the point of one punch, man. Everything I stated is factual information. Well, number seven was created based on all of the factual information put together. I just needed to sound cool. Damn right I did. Okay. See, this is how I know he didn't actually understand. This is one of the, you know, when, when I say people, when people argue, they don't argue to actually listen to understand. They simply argue to get their point across. The way he broke down the information that I gave him is 100% confirmation of this shit. Okay. 
There are plenty of Digimon that throw around the concept of having no limit whatsoever on the lower ends of Digimonverse. That's not much to speak of. These characters clearly have limits, dude. Saitama does not. Y you see what he did? He simply took what I said And, and, and try to make it sound like, oh, it's not much to speak of. You got a lot of characters who who sit here and throw around the concept of not having a limit. Bro, it is very few fictional characters out there who actually don't have a limit. Saitama is one of them. These Digimon and Digimon clearly have limits. They clearly have limits. Even though they're, they're, they're claiming they don't have a limit... The fact that they're getting their ass beat is proof that they have a limit. So so you literally took what I said and just dismissed it. Saitama literally doesn't have a limit. He literally doesn't have a limit. But of course, you didn't want to accept that because you're just here to argue. You just dismissed it as, oh, another character claiming that they don't have a limit. The fuck? Two, understandable. That's when I brought up the parody. Three, the creator of Digimon made it where Magnemon can't be affected by any actual problem because he will always win with his Digimental. This motherfucker be getting his ass whooping, going through the motherfucking struggle. He's he he's over exaggerating his ability, dude. He's over exaggerating Magnemon's ability. This is why how characters do battle is so very important. How their powers actually work, it's so very fucking important. Fate isn't something that's 100% unstoppable. Fate can be overcome. Fate is, man, freaking in DC and Marvel, fate is overcome all the goddamn time. All the goddamn time, fate is overcome. People with fate manipulation, oh, come on, man. Fate, militia, fate, bro, fate can be overcome. It's, oh boy, in Digimon, that's a top tier ability that you can't get by. But when you take Digimon and you put him up against a character who is truly made with no limit, who is literally designed to punch away the problem, that fate manipulation bullshit Ain't going to do nothing. He's getting his shit rocked. To be invincible isn't really anything to go off of. Moga Dramon, Machine Dramon, was called the strongest in the digital world in his reference book entry. <coughs> but there are plenty who have defeated him, such as were great by Then they not fucking invincible, genius. It's like you're not even using common sense at this point. You should be able to tell when something's being hyped the fuck up versus when it's legit. Saitama is 100% factually the strongest in One Punch Man. He is the embodiment of unfairness. He is a parody of the shonen genre. He is a gag character on top of that. That parody and gag status should tell you off rip that it makes him superior to normal freaking characters. But you're not looking at any of that. This is why I don't like entertaining people like this because they don't actually... When I talk, they're not actually listening. They're just reading to respond. The Roaring Knights as a whole, including Meganamon, are more than unfair. Unfair in the Digimon verse, but they're not on the same level as unfairness as Saitama. Not even close. Saitama's power actually can be scaled. His feats can be scaled. As far as how powerful Saitama actually is, that cannot be scaled. It literally cannot be scaled. The creator gives us no openings to do that. We can scale his feet, which he's always holding back. 
But as for how powerful Saitama actually is, the only thing the factual information tells us is that Saitama's strength is infinite. And even in the cops and girl fight, the narrator stepped in. Oh, this man became so strong that there is nobody left to measure what level he reached. The only thing we got is Saitama is infinitely strong, bro. <clears throat> so you sitting here talking about some Saitama's power actually can be scaled. You're full of fucking bullshit. I should have blocked your ass right when right when I read number six. Because that's proof right there that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You just need to know the proper equations and theories for There is no proper fucking equation in theory when the character is written in a way to where it's impossible to scale how powerful he actually is. You're talking out of your fucking ass. Oh, and then he threw in a little shot, which you evidently don't know. Bitch, of course I don't fucking know. There isn't no, no opening to actually measure how powerful Saitama is. They always got this motherfucker holding back. But the thing is, when you're infinitely strong, you can hold back. You can. When there's literally no limit to your power, you can hold back. When your actual power is to defeat any opponent however strong, you can hold back. So there would literally be no situation into, to where you don't have to actually utilize your full power unless in Saitama's case, he's waiting for that super powerful opponent so he can one punch them. But until then, we're always going to get Saitama holding mat. That's the formula. Because of X, Y, Z. So reasoning doesn't matter to you. Bitch. Did everything I say was not everything? This is the bullshit I'm talking about. This motherfucker really sat here and said reasoning doesn't matter to me. When I gave him all the factual info, oh, wow. It's just flavor text that kind of demonstrates that you're only strawmanning wins for him. This motherfucker don't know how to argue at all, bro. This man is full of it. Your factual information is really just an unbiased bias for Saitama. Shut the fuck up. No, it's not. <laughs> you can go ahead and read my other comments. This is when I knew he was a troll. You got the whole squad laughing. Oh, yeah, you're fucking done. Now go ahead and pause the video. I ask, are you admitting you're a troll because you're about to get blocked, but not before I screenshot your nonsense? I already had screenshot of nonsense. Jessmon GX, I already know who the fuck that is. I've seen him in action. You only ever bring up the same two arguments. I bring up more than two arguments. You just haven't looked at all of my videos. I get it now. You don't get shit. You're just another ignorant fucking troll that just got blocked. Your inability to comprehend scaling leads you to default to the same scans that don't even properly explain. Oh. Oh, man, this motherfucker thinks I don't know how to power scale. That's crazy. That is crazy. Because I'm always defending a character who power literally makes power scaling useless. I don't know how to power scale. This man said everything he needed to say to make me understand that he ain't nothing but a troll. He don't understand shit about One Punch Man because the fact that you think you can scale this character and put him on the same level as his feet is proof that you don't understand shit from shit. Yeah. You, yeah, this is a massive L on your part, dude. Cope. Cold. It's like people don't understand what it means to be able to punch a problem away no matter what it is. It's like that it's not registering in their head. Oh, if, if, if somebody brings fate manipulation to the table, this is going to work on Saitama. Dude, in order for that ability to work on Saitama, you would have to take away the fact that Saitama was literally made to punch away the problem no matter what it is. You would have to nerf that shit back to kingdom come. And by doing so, that's not the actual 
one punch man anymore. That's a bootleg version that you just threw into the fray. Let me put it simple. I don't put any of my other favorite characters against Saitama because Saitama is literally a unfair character. He's just one of those unfair characters that you just don't put in fan made versus battles. His actual power doesn't give a fuck about power scaling. But yet, you got all of these power scalers trying to power scale this man into their blue in the face. And then when you and then when they come across a channel like mine who want to go off of the factual information is someone who recognizes that Saitama power doesn't give a fuck how powerful the opponent is, so your scaling is completely useless here. It gets toxic really fucking quick. So yeah, leave your thoughts in the comment section. This isn't an actual video that I want to do, but I want to get this out of the way real fast.